the ghosts of the former Republic of Yugoslavia still hide in the countries that have taken its place. Although not many people know it, the majestic landscapes in those nations are scattered with secret tunnels and bunkers explicitly built for the needs of a now bygone era. Some of these structures have found new purposes, but others have decayed due to the passage of time. Such is the case of the ruins of the subterranean Zhalyava Airport. This underground airbase holds a lot of secrets about the Croatian War of Independence, as well as the Cold War, and very few know about its existence. This photo shows the massive underground airport, which held Air Force hangars and military barracks. Located under what is now the border between Croatia and Bosnia-Herzegovina, this bunker could house over a thousand people, and had a communication system meant to serve as a Cold War-era ballistic missile warning mechanism. Many countries had similar facilities, but what made Zhelyava unique was its location. Since it was built inside a hollowed-out mountain, the airbase was practically indestructible. Although Yugoslavia enjoyed relative Cold War peace and quiet as part of the non-aligned movement, its authorities nevertheless made significant investments in military defenses after the ending of World War II. One of those investments was a maximum security bomb-proof airbase called Objekat 505, better known today as the Zhelyava Airbase. It was located in what today is the border between Bosnia-Herzegovina and Croatia, inside Mount Plezhevica. Protected by the mountain, Officials claimed this facility could withstand a 20 kiloton nuclear bomb, the same force as the bomb that fell on Nagasaki in August 1945. The Yugoslavian government began construction on a secret project in 1948. The underground building was finished 20 years later. With a total cost of around $6 billion, it was one of the most extensive and expensive military structures the world had seen at the time. Some speculate that a big part of that money had been funneled from the World Bank. The underground airbase was built with four entrances, custom-made pressurized retractable doors, and exits capable of launching MiG fighter jets. Objekat 505 had tunnels of over two total miles in length. These tunnels could house up to two complete fighter squadrons, including one for reconnaissance missions and full maintenance and mechanical upkeep facilities. The base was equipped with MiG-21 BIS fighter aircraft for their fighter aviation squadron, and the reconnaissance aviation squadron had MiG-21 reconnaissance fighter aircraft. This airport was equipped with an underground mess hall big enough to house a thousand people. It was also stocked with enough food, supplies, and armament to last a full month in case of an emergency. Above the ground, the Zhalyava Air Base had five different runways in its vicinity, as well as numerous tracking and targeting radars, interceptor systems, motorized infantry bases, and military police stations. The airbase's access points were heavily monitored and guarded. Its keepers were authorized to fire upon anyone attempting to enter without previous authorization. The Objekat 505 airbase was used intensively in 1991 until its destruction by the Serbians during the Croatian War of Independence. With instructions from famed Marshal Josip Tito himself, the underground base was demolished with built-in explosives. The area was so extensive that the job took the army almost a year to complete. To prevent any potential further use of the underground complex by Croatian and Bosnia-Herzegovinian enemy forces, the Serbian military set off an additional 56 tons of explosives in 1992. This explosion was so powerful that nearby cities felt the earth-shattering sound of the bombs, Residents claimed that smoke plumes continued to rise from the tunnels for almost a year after the explosion. The once vast facility that housed an array of fighter jets is now silent and abandoned. Hopes of reconstruction are slim because of the money the repairs would require. It now only boasts rusting metal and holes on the ceilings that look like they can cave in at any time. The tunnels are completely dark. The air is polluted from all the bombs deployed in the base for its destruction. 
given the extensive number of mines in the vicinity of the area, visiting the base is quite risky. In 2000, a Bosnian Air Force major died after setting off a mine while searching for edible mushrooms. 